I often get asked if Crash and Eddie are warty ferrets. And the answer is yes. A warty ferret is short for a ferret that has Wardenburg syndrome. Wardenburg syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects the development of the neural crest cells, which are a group of cells that form during embryonic development and give rise to various tissues, including pigment producing cells and parts of the inner ear. Most commonly, a ferret with Wardenburg syndrome will have a blaze coat pattern, which is a white stripe along the head and back and sometimes down the neck, or a panda pattern, which is a solid white head from the nose to the shoulders. They can also have a slightly flattened appearance to the skull and widely set apart eyes. Nearly three quarters of ferrets with Wardenburg syndrome are deaf or partially deaf. It's also not uncommon to see gastrointestinal issues, cognitive defects, and behavioral differences in ferrets with this condition. After bringing Crash and Eddie home, I quickly learned that Crash is fully deaf. One of the ways we confirm this is with a squeaky toy. As you can see, Crash is completely unfazed by this squeaky toy. All of the other ferrets are very aware of what's going on. Since Crash can't hear, we use other methods to get his attention, like flicking light switches or tapping the floor. And we take extra caution not to accidentally startle him. Crash is our most vocal ferret. He often lacks the ability to understand social cues, and he uses his voice in situations where other ferrets may not. Just like in this next clip, where they are playing and wrestling, but they are not hurting each other. Okay. Boys. Boys. He crash. <laughs> you were biting him and crying. Crash, crash and Eddie are not my first wordy ferrets. I often find that wordy ferrets beat to their own drum, which make them special and unique and amazing. And with the proper care and attention to their needs, they can live a amazing, fulfilling life.